do they say they are um, as a supermarket? So this is a big sign that's right inside and it kind of professes what their values are. So Aldi trims overhead to leave more money in your wallet. The bagging is up to you. The low prices are up to us. So Aldi is a bit unique, at least compared to stores like Schnucks, which we may be more familiar with, um, in that they don't give you bags at all. Um, so people can either just bring their shops back to their um, carts back to their car and then bring the cart back. Um, many people bring their own bags, but um, they do not provide bags for you. And they say that this saves money. And they provide value and quality to customers by being fair and efficient in all they do. So, given that stuff, how is the store set up and how does uh, the way that they present their products, the products that they choose, how does that relate to the values that they profess in this um, saving, saving money and saving money in some ways that may kind of alternate from what is expected in the standard supermarket? So first of all, um, to get a shopping cart at Aldi's, you have to uh, put a quarter into the cart. They're all locked up. So you put a quarter into the cart, and then it releases it. And then I do all my shopping at Aldi's. Um, so then you can get your shopping cart. And the first time I came there, I, I, it was really awkward because I couldn't figure out how to get the cart out. I was kind of pulling in, like, and, and then someone came up and put a quarter in. And that's <laughs> how you get your cart out. Um, and it's such a small thing, but they say that it saves significant money because if you think about it, they don't have to have employees who are kind of going around collecting carts. Um, they don't have to worry about carts in the parking lot or anything like that. I would guess that they need a lot fewer carts too because they're always, people use them and they go right back here. Um, though I also thought it was an interesting question about um, do people ever leave them places if they don't care about the quarter because it's this assumption that people want the quarter back and that's why they're going to return the cart and lock it up. And from what I've seen, people usually do do that. Um, so, you'll see that oops, that's not what I do. Um, their prices are really emphasized, and that's a uh, very clear quality when you go shopping here, is that prices are huge, they're bright yellow, they're very easy to identify, and every single item, big price, right on the wall. Um, so, definitely their interest in, uh, in um, value is clearly reflected in the store layout. And then this is the chocolate section. You'll see the chocolate section in a couple of these different stores. And I think it's interesting in all of these because you'll see there's some, some nice and more expensive options, but there aren't brand names. Uh, brand names that we really recognize anyway. So there's no Giardelli there. Um, so Aldi really tries, I think, to um, have these kind of higher quality products, but they generally don't include brand names. And this is the alcohol section, which we'll also compare across the stores. And you'll see that it's really small. So for whatever reason, all these does not include any hard liquor. And um, even in the wine selection, it's not enormous. So you can come here, you can find value. But um, I guess customers who want an enormous selection are not probably going to choose all these. And that's reflected again. This is the entire meat section right here. And again, it's relatively small. You know, this is, I always buy ground turkey. This is the only brand of ground turkey that they have. And again, it's not the same brand name that you'd see at Schnucks. Um, so the prices are much lower, but there's also a much smaller selection. So, products. What are the main products that we really see and that we see all these emphasize? And the first one that they really emphasize is their fresh quality produce. And it's um, the main advertising component of the store as well. All over the store is covered with pictures like these of produce that looks very, very healthy and fresh and great quality. And there's signs like this all over the place. And they really emphasize the freshness. This, you can't really see, but this sign is right over the produce section. And there's a lot of these green signs that say things like fresh quality all around the produce section. And like I said, I shop here, and I definitely, the reason that I shop at all these is because um, you can get really good produce for much less. Um, you'll see, though, that they are extremely concerned with presentation. The produce is just sitting in the cardboard crates that it was shipped in with. So again, it's, here's our produce, you can buy it, we're not really gonna um, spend extra money drawing you in visually. And yeah, this is the big, the area, all these green signs, fresh, fresh, quality. 